The new law is intended to keep people and animals safe, but not everyone is happy about it. Tim Harrison has been involved in hundreds of exotic animal rescues like the one seen in this video. That's why he supports the new ban. And we're going to step up and be able to protect humans and animals in the state of Ohio. Owners have 60 days to register their exotic animals, but the full impact of the law won't be felt until January 2014, when owners will have to adhere to strict new standards. As long as you get insurance, you get yourself a veterinarian that's going to sign for you, you have to get them either tattooed or you're going to, I think they're going to do computer chips. Harrison says he will likely be a part of the governor's task force to help with the transition. We're trying to make it so it can be easy for everybody, and they're giving you the opportunity to do the right thing. But some exotic animal owners believe it's wrong. There has to be some exceptions made, and the way I feel it is, Ohio's not making any exceptions, and that they're wanting to drive all these animals out. Dr. Daniel Brower sees all kinds of exotic animals at the Dayton South Veterinary Clinic. You just wouldn't believe how many people in the Dayton area have these exotics. He says he sees some people who follow the current rules, but most of the time, that's not the case. A lot of people that I work on their pets, the exotics, they'll actually tell you that after about a year. They wish they wouldn't have ever gotten into this mess. And they don't realize that these little cubs are... Um, bear cubs or lion cubs grow up and then when they do we either get a phone call because something tragic happened or now they're looking for a home for this animal. Under the new law the first time an exotic animal roams off the owner's property it's a misdemeanor. If it happens again it's a felony. Reporting live Jackie Sprague 2 News.